Hey, I'm Hannah Weiss, the Director of Education at the Science Museum of Western Virginia, and this is your moment of STEM. And this week, we are going to talk about 2019 OK. And no, that's not just me saying that we're going to talk about 2019. See, I'm actually talking about the 2019 OK asteroid that passed between the Earth and the Moon at the end of July. And this asteroid was actually decently large. It was about the size of a football field. And it passed pretty close to Earth. But what's really kind of fascinating and potentially terrifying about this asteroid is that we didn't really know about it. It got to about mm, under a week, like three days to a day, depending on the report you read, out before NASA and, and other scientists realized it was there, which is kind of terrifying, but also fascinating. See, the reason that we weren't able to see this asteroid has to do a lot with the way that it was moving and the way that we detect asteroids like it. This asteroid moves moving really, really slowly. And asteroids are actually pretty tricky to spot. There's an entire team, uh, the planetary defense team, that is all about kind of finding these near-Earth objects or near-Earth asteroids. And the way that they spot them is by kind of watching for them to move. But if this object was moving really, really slowly, like 2019 OK was, it's tricky to spot. It'd be kind of like if you imagine mm, something really dark blue or navy sitting in a spot on my dress. And then in the time you blinked, it moving just a little bit. You might not realize it had moved at all. And that's what happened with this asteroid. So it's really not all that difficult to, to miss them. Of course, there's actually a 2005 law, as well as a lot of people around the world who, who want scientists like those at NASA and, and JPL to know where these asteroids are. And they really want kind of better technology to do that. But doing that requires funding, right? There, there's kind of a limit to what we can see with telescopes placed on Earth. And there's a lot of thought that if had we had uh, technology out in space, maybe even with kind of the ability to look in infrared, we might have seen this asteroid sooner. So what do we do, though, if there is an asteroid that's kind of on a course with Earth? What happens? What's the plan? It's, it's not really an Armageddon situation, right? The plan is actually to kind of nudge it just a little bit out of the way. Because if these objects are far enough out and we nudge it just enough, it'll pretty much completely miss us. Space is pretty big. Of course, some of the most interesting stuff that happened with this story was the news media controversy that followed. See, so as near as I can tell, we found out about this asteroid from BuzzFeed, which, I mean, I love BuzzFeed, it's fun, but where are we in the universe that it is BuzzFeed that is kind of unveiling this stuff or unveiling this stuff? And then there was a lot of misinformation shared. Some news outlets called it a city killer. They said that it would be an incredibly devastating impact were it to hit the planet. And while as it would be devastating wherever it hit, it wouldn't be world ending, this 2019 OK asteroid. It, it wasn't that big. But if you'd like to know any more about the asteroid, the controversy that kind of happened around it, or the planetary defense positions that kind of help keep us safe, you can check out any of the links below. Otherwise, I'm Hannah Weiss from the Science Museum of Western Virginia. And even though it wasn't the city killer it was purported to be, I'm still really glad that we saw this asteroid before it passed by us.